Now to our other top story tonight, is Cal Fire ready for fire season? Depends on who you ask. Cal Fire says yes, but the union disagrees. We are, I think, uh, more so than ever this year, ready to move forward, and, and we are prepared. Well, the need for firefighters is, is very dire. Well, the Cal Fire Union says there are major staffing shortages. The situation is so dire that fixing the firefighter shortage bill uh, was introduced with more than $200 million to hire additional firefighters. Thanks so much for joining us here at 5. I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Elizabeth Kling. Our news is also streaming live on CBS News Sacramento right now. So which one is it, staffed or short-staffed? There you see CBS 13's Madison Keevy digging into what uh, she's been told by Cal Fire. And Madison, the difference in opinion is pretty glaring here. Yeah, that's right. It really depends who you ask. You know, I asked a spokesperson at Cal Fire about that bill, and he made it very clear that it is not endorsed by the department, that this is something that's just endorsed by that union. Of course, when you ask the union president, he says the men and women of Cal Fire are overworked because they're understaffed, and it's taking more than just a physical toll. The men and women who fight California's wildfires are at a breaking point, according to a union president. They're mentally and physically broken and have been exhausted over the last four or five years. The traditional three days on, four days off doesn't exist much anymore because wildfires are bigger and, as a union president told us, because of a staffing shortage. This is not new. It's just been highlighted more because of the fires. In 2018, the Camp Fire destroyed 18,000 buildings and became the deadliest fire fire in state history. 85 people died. Two years later, the August Complex fire became the largest in state history when it burned more than a million acres. The impacts to Cal Fire crews? But what they can't see is the physical and mental toll put on the firefighters because of the long shifts. In early May, I asked a Cal Fire unit chief if Cal Fire was ready. The answer? We are. We're always going to have our challenges in front of us, but, but I think Cal Fire as an agency has great leadership, great vision, and, and we are, I think, uh, more so than ever this year, ready to move forward, and, and we are prepared. Today, I asked the Cal Fire Union president about that response. The Cal Fire management says they'll be fully staffed at all stations by next week. There's a major problem, and of course, management is always going to say they're good because they don't want to admit there's a wrong. Now, one of the statistics the union president shared today was that over the last four years, the number of calls made by firefighters to mental health hotlines has gone up to about 54,000. He says it's no coincidence that those also outline with some of the worst fire seasons that the West Coast has seen in as many years.